What's up guys, you know who it is, you know what it is, your boy JP, hope everybody's having a blessed day. Today we got 2014 GMCC era. I'm going to show you how to take this radio out and put in a different one. Now, if this is your first time tuning in to the channel, please consider subscribing. These are the type of things we do here, car audio tutorials, radio removal, speaker installs, anything car audio related. We want to go ahead and take this trim piece off first. Uh, after that, we take the trim piece off, then we're going to have some 7mm bolts behind there. And we'll get to that here in a little bit. Uh, see what's going to be the best way for me to get in. Nope, probably not right there. Let's try it right up here at the top. Yeah, that's going to be the best one. So we're going to do it at the top first. Now we can come in, try to pop some of new clips right here in that little section. There we go. All right. That one at the bottom. Guys, really need to be careful, especially around these thin parts because they are a little flimsy. And that clip that's holding them in has a lot of freaking tension on it. You do not want to break this dog on panel. But we're just going to go all the way around, popping those clips. See if I can't just start at the top over here like I did the other side. Might make it easier. Pull that part back. Boom. Exactly what we need. Now we're gonna take out these seven mils to take that holds this part on. It's gonna be one in each corner. So one, two, three, and four. Let's take those out. Now that we got those seven mils out, two little clips. This is the only thing that's holding it together. This is the video monitor harness. All right, guys, so now that we've actually taken the uh, dash out, we want to go ahead and take the two 7 mils to remove the CD player. Also, we will be taking this out, too, because this is where our harness actually hooks up at. So... CD player, one harness, take that out. All right, there's a little tab at the top. We just want to push that up, push it up. I might have do it with my other hand. Push that tab up, slide that part forward. It comes on out like that. So now that we have everything out, let's go over here to the bench and get our radio prep. All right, guys, so we are over here on the bench. Uh, we have the factory dash and we have the aftermarket dash i will put all the links in the description for you i'm actually not a fan of the american international but it works just the same i'll put the uh metro dash kit in here but it kind of like i said it matches up the same what you want to do first is actually pop this uh, ac control part out you want to pull this tab back and then press up like i said put a little pressure on it it's going to take more than one hand to get it there we go pop up like that like i said add the pressure pull these little tabs back and get that part out first now that we have that out you just want to stick it over here slide it in it's going to snap in simple enough right all right, so next we have these two pieces that actually just fit perfectly on the sides. You just push them on to each side, and then they stick. That's literally the easiest thing for those two. Um, now you have this front trim piece that goes over the front like this. You just push that in, very simple like, real easy. And then what you wanna do is you'll just grab your radio, and then we take our radio, turn it the right way, and then we will actually slide. All right, so we just basically take the radio and we just kind of slide the dash kit over it like that. Then we're gonna come over here, take the screws that came with the deck and put two in on each side. All right, so now that we have those deck screws in there, we can get this thing wired up and get it back inside the car. All right, y'all, so we, before we actually wire it up, we do need to cut some things inside this dash so we can get this radio to fit.
All right, so I went on ahead and test fit it, and it does fit now, but what I had to do, I had to take this back a pretty good ways. I also had to take this part off a good, a pretty good way. So yeah, all these little notches that's holding everything else, take all them out, good God. Now let's go ahead and get this thing wired up. All right, so I have everything wired up real quick, and if it's your first time here, you're probably thinking, why didn't I actually go over the wiring? Well, I have over 200 different install videos, and if I took the time to go over the wiring each time, it's gonna make these things too long, and I like to keep things short, sweet, straight to the point. But what I have done is I've made one video showing you guys how to wire up a radio. I go over the wire colors, different types of connections, all that good stuff. Link is down in the description. Card is over there in the corner. And yes, every car is different, but as long as you Get the harness and you know the wire colors and you can install any radio that you want if you're a patreon supporter then if you actually want to get the wire colors i do provide that stuff for the guys who want to further support the channel other than that let me go ahead and get this radio pushed inside so you can see what it looks like when it's all said and done all right, y'all, this is what it looks like when it's all said and done. If you find any type of value in this video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment if you want to. Until next time, it's your boy JP signing out. Product links in the description and that Patreon links in the description. Y'all be blessed.